Welcome to the Starring Over Podcast Training Regimen uh, episode. Uh, this time we are going to be looking at Earthbound Neutralized. Earthbound Neutralized is very special because unlike Leap Climb or Flurry or Phasing, it is not necessarily uh, normally seen as advantageous, uh, mainly because of its effects. So let's go ahead and look at it now. Earthbound slash Neutralize. This character possesses standard movement, standard attack, standard defense symbol, and standard damage symbol. Instead of the combat symbols, uh, this power can't be countered or ignored. Okay, so what we can see with this is that by having uh, this power, it is immune to outwit. It is also uh, unable to be affected by any gain uh, effect that's out there. The next thing that's very particular is that this power can take away a figure's ability to fly just as much as it's able to take away that a figure's ability to be a giant or a colossal, uh, indomitable, sharpshooter, uh, fish, you know, <laughs> dolphin symbol, whatever. You know, it, it takes all of that away. Now, one might say that this is purely 100% negative. I would tend to disagree. This has uh, various advantages and disadvantages. Okay, let's let's start looking at the disadvantages first, and then we'll look at the advantages because I want everything to sort of go uphill. All right, now with the advantages, I mean, sorry, with the disadvantages, we can see that if you've already paid in your point cost to be a sharpshooter, or your team is designed to have that giant or colossal to do just that, be giant or colossal then yeah, it can get a little ridiculous uh, in so much as that you're really banking on that figure to be doing uh, what you're paying for it to do. Uh, imagine, uh, you know, Superman, uh, the common Superman from the Superman set, when he lands on Earthbound Neutralized, now you can't use Indomitable. Uh, and if you push, I think you end up dying if you, if you do push. Uh, so there's, there's great risk that come uh, with that. You know, really, when that power shows up most of the time, you really don't like it because you're going to end up losing just, you know, something that you're paying for up front. Now, let's start looking at the advantages of it. The advantages of having an Earthbound Neutralized is you have a figure. Uh, let's let's go way back. I think it's, hmm, what was that figure? Uh, well, anyway. Uh, let's let's go back to the first giant set. Uh, now the first giant set was was pretty interesting because, uh, well, let me rephrase that. Not the first giant set. It's the first uh, the DC giant set. That's the proper name. Um, and if we look at that set in particular, it, it introduced you know of course giants to to DC hero clicks uh, since uh, previously Marvel already had. Um, Giants come out in like Fantastic Forces, I think. I think that's the actual proper one. But um, that set introduced our change to Earthbound Neutralized uh, when we get to Giganta. Giganta, at the end of her dial, gets Earthbound Neutralized, uh, which means that, and, and when she came out with it, they ruled that she's no longer uh, a giant. So that's when the, the big change happened. Uh, before that, it was just you couldn't fly. Once Giganta came out uh, in that set, she, she made it so that, you know, hey, you can, you can carry a giant. So now you have figures that previously weren't being able to be carried or uh, had some other effects on them that could be, you know, a disadvantage. Let's say you have a figure with Earthbound Neutralized, and then you also have the con-exclusive uh, Giant Man, and you have a cheap Avengers Giant. Let's, let's put it like that. Okay. Now, at some point in time, you might want to say, ooh, I don't want them to be giant the whole game but they do fly. I wonder what else I can do with them. And so you can say, well, if I get a cheap giant, a cheap figure with Earthbound Neutralized, bam, there we go. Um, then I can give them pin particles and they become huge. So now I have a giant figure that once he gets damaged, you know, he can go back to giant being standard size instead of being giant. But for right now, being giant has whatever advantages or disadvantages. And that's up for you to figure out. 
Okay. Uh, what I want you to do with using Earthbound Neutralize this time, unlike the previous time, uh, is not so much uh, go out there, build a team, and build around Earthbound Neutralize. Most of the time, uh, that just doesn't happen. Uh, what I want you to do is play with the team that has Earthbound Neutralized in it. And then I want you to sort of see what happens to your tempo. And then I also want to see how can you exploit it, okay? Now remember, you, you have to keep in, in, into account that your damage, your uh, sorry, all your power symbols change. All your stat symbols change. So if you have a, a special power that says, bam, bam, it gives you a bonus for all figures with, you know, standard defense or all figures with standard attack. They get to do this. Then sort of keep those in mind. Uh, mainly the realm of feats is a little bit more stronger uh, for tailoring to that. But, on, uh, but you can try to find uh, your own little gem. Uh, to try to manipulate on your team. If you don't really feel comfortable, remember, let's go back to our own little lab work and play testing. You know, just make a team that ends up having that power on the dial, uh, on somewhere on their on the, the dial, and then just play against that team and see what happens. Um, you know, just see what type of uh, frustrations, advantages, disadvantages that show up. Uh, you know, and one thing I will say is that you really, really, really want to consider uh, having a figure uh, that can fly on your team or that's a giant or colossal so that you can uh, manipulate the, the advantages of being able to carry uh, that figure that is now earthbound neutralized. All right. Now, I, on top of that, I don't want your your practice games to, to devolve into how can I abuse common Superman sort of branch out there look at figures that actually have you know a little bit more abnormal stat symbols see if see what you can find and, and dig deep um, and, and try to create something different uh, for your own advancement okay all right uh, if you have any questions comments concerns email me at starting over podcast at gmail.com that's starting over podcast at gmail.com and I will see you in the next episode.